Hi, everyone. Um, Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, my name is Durga and I'm the International Officer um, for India at London Metropolitan University. So welcome to this session. It's great to be here um, at the College Fair and to meet all of you. Um, so just to let you know that I'll be speaking a little bit about the university, but you can come and meet me at the table um, at London Metropolitan University's table, we're table number 16, and you can ask more questions about the university itself there. In this presentation, I'll be speaking more about the new graduate root visa and um, employability in the UK. So I know many students here may be interested in the US, but the UK is also a great destination. Um, so this is our location. So we are right in the heart of London. You can see here we've got King's Cross, St Pancras Station, and we're just uh, two tube stops away from um, King's Cross. So we are in zone one. We have two campuses, our Holloway campus and then our Aldgate campus. So um, this is a quick image of our Holloway Road campus. And then this is our Aldgate campus. So just a quick snapshot of what the campus looks like. Here are our classrooms. So um, you've got modern facilities, our learning center or the library. Um, we call it our learning center. And then of course, lots of spaces to relax. So this, this academic year, September 2021, we are welcoming students back to campus um, for in-person and on-campus teaching. We have um, a number of schools. So our business school offers courses like accounting and finance, business, management. Um, so all of those uh, traditional courses there Our School of Computing and Digital Media. You, you'll be able to take courses like computer science, journalism, um, our human sciences school, um, also the School of Social Professions. So if you're interested in education, our School of Social Sciences, if you're interested in psychology, so sociology, subjects like that. And then, of course, our School of Art, Architecture and Design. So if you are into your creative arts, fine art, jewellery, fashion, architecture, all of these courses we are able to offer. Um, so we are one of the smaller universities in London. So we have um, just over 9,000 students, but we are really diverse. There are more than 120 nationalities represented at the university. 80% um, of our students are undergraduate, and then we have 20% postgrad. Um, fees in the UK are considerably, considerably less than the US. So our, our courses start from 13,000 pounds. 13,200 pounds. And then we also offer a range of scholarships and our applications are now open for our January and September 2022 intake. So as I mentioned before, teaching will resume on campus. Um, so now moving on to the next section, the graduate root visa. So many of you may be aware that the UK government has now announced um, that students who complete their degrees in the UK will be able to stay on to um, pursue their careers. So there are some uh, rules and regulations around this as well. Um, so in terms of um, what we did have in the UK before we had the post-study work visa, which was removed. And when it was removed, it meant students only had four to six months after finishing their degree to, st to remain in the UK and try to find a graduate level job. Um, and find employer sponsorship. And this could be really challenging after completing your studies, getting straight into the interview application process, it can feel quite overwhelming. So now with the graduate route visa, undergraduate and postgraduate students, once you've completed the degree, you can stay in the UK for a period of two years. Um, for PhD students, you can stay in the UK for um, a three year period, so slightly longer. Now, um, it's really important that to be eligible for the graduate route visa, that you complete your degree. So you must finish um, your master's, you must finish the undergraduate course, and then you're eligible to move from the student visa to the graduate route visa. What's really um, sort of important about the graduate route visa is this time you do not require any type of employer sponsorship. You can apply for jobs at any level. So you might be um, doing an internship. You might take on part time work while you're maybe studying something else. You might be able to do lot, um, move into a graduate scheme that is 
connected to your course. So there are lots of opportunities to take on different um, roles. You can do multiple roles. You might do a six month opportunity followed by a year long opportunity to try different things. So from that four month period, it's now been extended to a two or three year period that you can remain in the UK after your degree. Um, there is the application fee, which is £700, and then um, the healthcare surcharge, which is £624. What's important to note for students and parents here as well is that the uh, graduate route visa doesn't um, lead to settlement. So it um, doesn't count towards uh, visas which lead to settlement in the UK, such as the indefinite leave to remain. So this two year period with the graduate route visa gives you that time to um, search for jobs and build your professional experience, build those employer connections and really um, build your um, work experience in the UK. Following that two year period, you may then have worked with an employer who has invested in you and you've invested your time, energy and um, career with the company as well. So they may then be interested in sponsoring you to remain in the UK if, if that's what you're interested in doing. You may just want to complete your degree, gain that two year work experience in the UK and then maybe return back to your home country. So it's a great opportunity. Um, it's fantastic that um, the UK government is allowing, um, has, has uh, introduced this graduate route visa back and we're excited to support students um, access this. Um, so what can um, the UK jobs market, what is that looking like now? So I think with Brexit and with the lockdown, um, the, the, there of course has been an impact, but the um, sectors that I've listed here, so e-commerce, digital marketing, finance, healthcare, real estate and construction and information technology, these have continued to grow during the lockdown and then since um, restrictions have now been lifted in the UK. These are sectors um, and industries that have seen continued growth, um, not only in the UK, but across um, many different countries as well. So, for example, tech companies, they're always going to need that strong marketing presence and students who want to pursue a career in tech, in digital marketing, there's going to be jobs in the UK for that. Real estate and construction. Um, in the UK, there's a lot of projects in terms of um, the high speed railway networks, um, uh, installation of 5G. So there's a lot of roles within real estate and construction engineering. Um, so, so these are just some of the sectors that you might be thinking about as you come to choose the courses and the careers you might be thinking about in the future. Also with Brexit, just a quick point that many EU um, students and professionals have decided to, um, so with EU professionals, they've decided to either um, uh, go back home to the UK and to, the, to their European country of residence. So that has left um, a gap in the jobs market. And I think with the immigration policy in the UK now viewing EU and international um, with the same set of rules and um, the same set of requirements to apply apply to be able to work in the UK, I think that gives our international students um, a great opportunity um, in the jobs market in the UK as well. So um, that's just something to consider. Finally, what can you do right now then? So you're looking at um, applying for your uh, degree, whether at undergraduate or postgraduate level, but there's always something you can um, begin with once you start your degree. It's really important that um, once you join the university, whether um, you are in the US, in the UK, wherever you are, which university, whichever university you go to, it's important that you meet your careers team um, the careers team at the university are there to support you think about um, the career options that you may want to consider to get your CV reviewed, to understand um, the recruitment process in the country that you would like to work in. Um, alongside your studies, you may take on volunteering opportunities, you might apply for internships and placements. And this is really, really important um, to build that work experience and build your CV. It's also important to note the recruitment practice in the UK. So um, when students graduate, and if you are looking at graduate level roles, um, particularly with the larger companies, there's a step-by-step -step process. So you will do an online application. There may be online tests. There may be a video interview. You may be invited to an assessment center. Um, and then following that, you're given a dis decision of whether you've been successful or not. 
So um, the, with the UK job market, there is that step by step process. And at each level, you want to be able to um, sort of to be able to clear the level you want to have practice and the careers team are there to help you do that. So like you may have developed exam technique to really um, be successful in your exams, there is um, recruitment technique. There's techniques that you can understand to learn how best to present yourself in an interview, how best to understand the company and what um, their products, their services might be, who their customers are. How are you researching the employer that you would like to uh, work with in the future? Um, Another point with the UK is many UK universities, including London Metropolitan University, we have our annual careers fair. So this is when employers come to campus and um, share more about the opportunities they offer. Now, it's important to know that it's not um, a placement fair in the sense that I know in many Indian universities, employers come to campus, you have an interview right on campus and then you get a placement. So it's not like that. Um, in the UK, you have to apply for the role, um, attend the interview, and then you're um, offered a role. But that doesn't happen at the university itself. Um, the careers fair when employers do come to campus, they're sharing more about the opportunities they offer. So it's really important that as a student, you are, of course, focused on your academics. Make sure that you're um, achieving the results that you want to be able to achieve those great grades. But also think about your career career um, aspirations and take the time to do different internships. Um, take the time to understand employers and connect with them. Um, get onto LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great platform to research employers um, that you may be interested in. And if you are looking at London and coming to London, London's a great space, um, a great city to really focus on developing your employability. There are many sectors represented in London. Many tech companies have their headquarters in London. So there's um, a wealth of opportunity. Um, and I think with the UK now, um, where restrictions have lift, lifted, the vaccination programme in the UK um, is, has been very successful. Um, we are hoping for a more normal um, academic year for the, for the upcoming year in September. Um, so that was everything I have to share about the graduate route visa, the opportunity to stay on in the UK um, once you've completed your degree, and then to start thinking about how you might um, explore and develop your own employability. So if I'm going to have a look at the chat uh, um, box now to see if there are any questions. Um, so I've got a question about the scholarship. So in terms of scholarships, we, we offer the International Excellence Scholarship and all of our scholarship applications are based on um, academic um, excellence and then also um, financial your financial circumstances. So if there are um, any concerns that you might have about your financial circumstances that might stop you from attending, but you have the grades, you have the academic ability, um, then we really recommend you apply for the scholarship. Our scholarship is a, um, a £2,500 um, reduction to the fee in your first year. So that's the International Excellence Scholarship for undergraduate students. And for postgraduate students, we have a 100% scholarship, um, which will, so it will cover all your fees as well as your flight ticket from India to the UK. So that is a full scholarship that we offer. It is highly competitive, but again, in terms of criteria, we're looking at academic excellence. So your passion and knowledge for the subject and why you really want to study that. And then again, your financial circumstance. So as you can imagine, that is um, a very popular scholarship. And um, we, we do recommend submitting your applications early because um, it's only offer holders who are able to apply for the scholarship. So um, as I mentioned, our applications um, are open for January and also for September 2022. Um, I'll just have a look at the other questions. There's another one on scholarships. So the lounge, um, so I think that's starting at 6.30, so very soon after this. So do come and uh, speak to me. Um, at the London Metropolitan University table, where I can answer more questions about the courses that you're interested in, um, the entry requirements um, and things like that. Um, 
IELTS, so that's going to be a key question. With IELTS, we have a minimum of um, six. And um, um, so that's, I mean, overall you need a six, but a minimum of 5.5 in each of the components. Um, so reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Um, but we can speak more about that. So if you have any of, any more questions around entry requirements. Um, and one more question around electrical engineering. Um, unfortunately, we do not offer that particular course, um, but you can have a, come and speak to me at um, the table and we can explore um, similar courses if that may be of interest. But um, unfortunately, we don't offer electrical engineering. Um, I think that's all of the questions. Um, let me just have a quick look. Are there any postgraduate in biotechnology? Um, we, I will have to double check that. We, in our School of Life Sciences, we will, um, we do have biomedicine, but I'll have to double check biotechnology. So, um, so yeah, do come and speak to me at the table. Um, I've got my email address on the screen. So it's d.ramji at londonmet.ac.uk. If you do have any more questions around the university, about life in London, um, or the graduate route visa and career opportunities, then do come and speak um, to me. And thank you for listening, everyone. Um, I'm just going to hand over to JNP and um, she will share a few announcements as well. Yeah, so yeah. like Volka said, any questions that have gone unanswered or if you want any more clarification on something, you can go to the table at the college fair. Uh, and like Durga said, that will start in about 18 minutes, so at 6.30 Indian time. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, I'm going to end the session now. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, everyone.